Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. <sighs> Lost my breath there. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel or you have not already done so, consider subscribing, especially if you like sneakers. We upload a brand new video. Buckets, how often? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So, you know, like I said, if you like sneakers, it's a good idea. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Former Simpson. And if you enjoy today's video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does go a long way. Hashtag feed the algo. Uh, I think those are all the formalities, right? They are. Anything to add? We diving in. Diving in. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange. These released recently and retail was 170 bucks. Shouts to the homies, kicks are for us for looking out. They are a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. We definitely appreciate them. Now this is a sneaker. I think we all knew they were gonna sell out. It wasn't like, they were super hyped up, but two reasons. Number one, it's a Jordan one. And number two, it has that black and orange shattered backboard colorway vibe to it. The good news is you can still find them for just a little bit over retail, even though they sold out. So they aren't super hard to get, relatively speaking, of course. You look at some of the other popular Jordan 1 sneakers that have released semi-recently. The Hyper Royal comes to mind the University Blue, both of those pairs going for a lot more than these. So these are a little bit more attainable, which is dope. Now, I did love the shattered backboard. Some of you who have been around for a while, been tuning in regularly for a while, you remember that I loved that sneaker. It was one of my favorite Jordan sneakers that year. Buckets, was it 2015? Maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, it's, I, I feel like it was 2015. And that shattered backboard, this part you will remember, Buckets, they almost became like the benchmark for Jordan 1s, right? Like, especially quality-wise. Any Jordan 1 that came out, people are like, yo, how's the leather? How does it compare to the shattered backboard? Like, that was the, the 10 on the scale of 1 to 10, and then you had to kind of fit it in there somewhere. I do remember that. And really, it seems like even now, when you're talking about Jordan 1s, that's still kind of the benchmark. Maybe a little less so now, because it was so long ago, or relatively long ago, but it is a bit of a benchmark still. And that was a dope sneaker, or is a dope sneaker, I should say. That is the original Shattered Backboard. These do have similar vibes, obviously, but I'm not nearly as crazy about them, and I'm sure that's kind of the consensus. For one, the Electro Orange, it is a bit different than the Shattered backboard orange it's not the same exact shade and obviously color blocking wise there are differences as well and that's kind of where i'm not as much of a fan you got the white toe for starters then the black leather wrapping around the front and along the eyelets same black leather on the swooshes Then there's this metallic-y buckets, would you say? Yeah, kind of. metallic -y orange around the ankle. And the rest of the sneaker is this white leather from the middle all the way to the back. Wings logo on the side, 
Nike Air on the tongue. I do love that Nike Air. I am a sucker for the Nike Air tag. Black laces, two extra sets of laces as well, which is nice, orange and white. White midsole and that super bright orange outsole. I'm not mad at these, I'm not. They just don't blow me away or anything. I love the Jordan one. It's low key probably my most worn sneaker of the last five or six years. Buckets, you and I have been together that entire time. Well, we've been brothers our whole lives, but would you say just from an outside perspective, you know, what's the saying? Like if you're in the forest, you can't see all the trees. I, I, I don't know. Okay. You lost me, but yeah, you wear them a lot. The Jordan 1, would you say in the last five years, say last six years, most worn sneaker for me? I'll say you wear them a lot. Okay. All right. That's as far as you're willing to commit. Yes. Gotcha. I mean, from the breads to the Jeters to more recently, the Travis Scott's, I wear a lot of Jordan 1s. That's the moral of the story. It's just such a wearable sneaker. So I really am kind of biased when it comes to the Jordan 1. I'm really a fan of the silhouette, but because of that, the bar is also set pretty high. And for me personally, these fall a little short of that bar. Don't get me wrong, I would rock them, but I just don't feel like I need them. I don't have to have them in the rotation, if that makes sense. So we'll probably actually end up giving this pair away. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I guess I got to give these a rating, right? So at the end of the day, I'm, you and I haven't talked about this, by the way, Buckets, but I'm curious what you give these. I feel like I, I got to start getting a little stricter, a little harsher on some of my grades. Right? People are saying I'm, I'm throwing out. I'm just, I'm a little too casual throwing out the eights and the nine. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say six. I'm going to say six out of 10 for these. Okay. I was going to say six and a half, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm hardcore today. Okay. You know, I'm that substitute teacher who comes in. You're like, oh, whoa, we got a substitute teacher. And it's like some like ex-Marine dude. Yeah, way stricter than the regular teacher. Way stricter. And you're like, ah, oh, man. Okay. Yeah, so I'm that dude. Six out of 10. Okay, also six out of 10 for me. Wow. Welcome to my world. All right, so, so this is what it feels like to be in the buckets range. Yeah. All right. All right, it, it's, listen, it's a Jordan 1. I, like I said, I would rock these if I didn't have other Jordan 1 sneakers that I like a lot more. That's what I'm going with. Uh, leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on the Jordan 1 in general? What are your thoughts on this colorway? How do you feel about Jordan brand in general? If this was not a pair that you were checking for, then what's a pair that you are checking for or are looking forward to? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. Adios.